Matt Real with a big win for the Campfield Cardinals over the Austin Town Fitch Falcons here at home. And I feel like it was just important for your girls to get back on track. And it seems like you guys really did it in a defensive grudge match. Talk about what was working and what was what was working early on for your girls too, and how you guys were able to get it done in that fourth quarter. Uh, you know, I, I thought we uh, we anticipate a lot better in the fourth quarter uh, defensively, and, and that led to some easy baskets, and we we converted them, which is a big deal. Um, I thought we got better uh, job of anticipating where things were going, and um, you know, I, I thought we had some girls that were pretty tired out there, and they kind of dug deep to to make a few stops and a few plays. So. Um, you know, I'm just proud of our effort overall. I noticed, too, and I, I mentioned it during the broadcast, too, the, the fact that you guys were playing a zone defense and were playing it pretty well, too, it seemed like. And you talk about just defensively switching and changing things up. Talk about the versatility of these girls to be able to kind of pick that up and be able to roll with it and be successful here with it tonight. Well, you know, every year I think it's an experiment in terms of what your team does really well. And, you know, it's game 16, and, and we're still trying to figure it out a little bit. And, um, you know, we're trying to mix things and sometimes feel what's really good with our team. And, and we like to think we can play uh, any type of defense well. You know, um, it's probably the best our zones look this year. Um, and, you know, it, it's just something we want to keep doing and be able to mix defenses so that we're a little bit my, more versatile defensively. Um, you know, I thought we did a nice job for the for the most part. How about the way Grace opened up that game and kind of just put the team on her back offensively? Sure, you know, I mean, she had a few easy layups early to get us going, and you know, I always think when you see the ball going to uh, a few easy ones early, and you see the ball in the hoop, it's, it's going to help you a little bit. And, and she's a confident shooter, but I think that really helped her. And for her to have a game like that and just kind of step forward, and I'm just so proud of her and happy for her because she's a hard worker. She's a gym rat, and um, she's somebody we, we think can really keep getting better as the year goes on. Another player I want to mention, too, when we talked with Cameron Hertz, too, I feel like she was a huge effort in that second half, especially on the boards. And right. she mentioned, too, the rebounding battles don't always go your way in the sure. games this season, too. But she really put, a, put her head down and did a great job in that second half. Talk about her effort in that second half and how it was able to kind of turn the tides in your favor. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> She responds to challenges, and, and through her career, she, she's gotten a lot better at that. And, you know, having gone to see the game at Warren, I know Dan wanted his team to be more physical. Us giving up eight rebounds against, against Borden, we wanted to be more physical, and, and we challenged that. And we challenged especially her, because she has a capability of doing that. And we told her we need seven, eight rebounds a game from her, and I think she had seven or eight tonight. And, um, you know, she did a nice job with that. She did a nice job just being confident, even when she wasn't making shots early. What does it mean to get back to 500 in this very tough conference? Uh, this conference is the best that I've seen. This is my 10th year in it, and uh, it's as balanced as it's ever been. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing for us just to get, just get a win at home. Uh, it feels great to be home. Uh, we're we're going to take a few days and uh, refill the tank. I've told everybody that our tanks are pretty much on empty. Uh, so we're going to try to get, get some gas back in the tank for Holland. And I, I know we will. And I think it's going to be a great atmosphere here Saturday night. And we'll face another good team coming in. And, and I think it's just going to be another great girls basketball game. Anytime you got two teams in that AAC, it's always a good one. Yes. Good luck on this. Good luck going forward, Coach. Congratulations on this win tonight. Thank you.